All right, hey, Professor Klein back here after a long hiatus on YouTube, and I'm coming to you all from our new lab space for human anatomy at Ohio University. So let me show you around. All right, in the Ohio University human anatomy lab, we've got a ton of stuff. In fact, I counted over 200 human anatomy models, and we're talking things like skulls many different types. We've got the vertebral column, the ear, the eye, the brain, really tall models like this nervous system model here, but then really smaller models to show some of the fine detail stuff in anatomy. We've got the larynx, the lungs, the heart. In the comments, let me know what's your favorite human anatomy topic. Do you like the heart, the brain? Maybe it's the digestive system like we've got right here. Many different models of the digestive system and you can't have enough skeletons. We've got over 20 skeletons in this room, but anatomy is not just models. Anatomy is histology or microanatomy, seeing all the body structures underneath the microscopes. We've got these nice microscopes right here that we use quite frequently in lab to see real human anatomy. Oh, we got some more skeletons right here as I work my way around the room. We also do a lot of cool activities. Lab one, students can look at their own blood after taking a finger prick underneath the microscope. So if you've never seen your own blood before, you can do that at Ohio University. Additionally, We've got the real thing. These are real bones that students get to see and palpate and articulate with their own fingers and see anatomy up close. Here's our collection of histology. It's all over the place because we're diving in this first week of classes. Lots of books and resources. And then guess what? A whole another wall of models. Here we can see some renal reproductive almost too many models to use so i don't use all the models every class but a large majority of them and then we get into something like the shoulder have you ever injured a part of your body drop it in the comments if you've ever had a major injury or anything that you've ever wondered well what's the anatomy behind that injury and i'll make a video for that Here's the cardiovascular system, the blood vessels, as we work our way to the front of the room and we can see the lower body. Here's some really cool knee stuff here. And for me, I've had a lot of foot injuries. So I love studying the feet because that is what's been injured most on my body. Let me give you a full overview of the lab space here. This room can fit up to 70 students, but we keep the labs much, much smaller, right around 32 to 35 students and plenty of teaching assistants. I'm in every lab. We've got graduate assistants. So we've got a team of anatomy professors and successful students to help you out. But that's not it. I got some more models up here, believe it or not. We got the cell models. We got the skin models, the generalized cell, bone, you name it, we've got a model of it. However, there's one more thing I wanna show you, and that is, that's the cadaver lab. But I can't actually show you that lab, so I'm just gonna show you the door that would lead into that lab. We're calling it the Ohio Anatomy Brain and Body Donor Lab. Over 15 body donors are in fastest door right here. We've got the brain that you can hold with the spinal cord, a human heart to learn from, and so many other different things as well. But this is a collaboration with the College of Health Sciences and Professions and the College of Arts and Sciences, which is the bios department at OU. So we learn from the real thing 
almost every single week. And a lot of my undergraduate teaching assistants get to learn how to dissect and get to really learn what makes up the body. Whoa. All right, that was just a brief summary of the undergraduate BIOS 3015 Human Anatomy Lab for students that are pre-med or going into physical therapy or athletic training or PA. In the comments, let me know what is your future career? Do you want to be a physical therapist? Do you want to be a doctor someday? Or maybe work as a professor like myself in a lab like this. Let me know and let me any know any other videos you would like me to make as well. But this has been your tour of the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching. Thank you.